my name is Morgan Drohan and I am a technical marketing professional here at Active Concepts. In today's masterclass, we're gonna be talking about the fundamental basics of skin penetration and the available technologies for enhancing the topical delivery of our cosmetic actives. The delivery and performance of active ingredients is important to really ensure the desirable and perceivable results. Performance ingredients are designed to effectively penetrate into the stratum corneum and reach the living epidermis underneath. The extent and rate of penetration of bioactive ingredients delivered by cosmetic products is a main focus for not only formulators, but toxicologists as well. There are two areas of relevant interest in topical delivery in the cosmetic industry. The first one is formulation development, where formulating chemists are interested in enhancing the delivery of materials. And then there's risk assessment, where toxicologists are concerned with penetration and the absorbance for materials of safety assurance. Addressing topical delivery is key to improving the efficacy of actives in skincare formulations. Today's cosmetic formulations are not simply just mixtures of oil, water, and emulsifiers, but they also contain many active ingredients which actually improve the condition of the skin. Many active ingredients such as physical exfoliators, moisturizers, and film formers are able to exert their effects on the skin surface. However, ingredients that target biological processes, such as collagen production, are thought to have greater efficacy if they can penetrate into the stratum corneum. The successful delivery of these ingredients across the skin barrier can increase the function and efficacy of the ingredient. So there are three ways active ingredients can typically penetrate the stratum corneum. The first one is the intracellular route, then there's the transcellular route, and then there's the transappendageal route. So picture the stratum corneum kind of having a brick and mortar type of structure where the keratinocytes are the bricks and the lipid matrix is the mortar. Ingredients that penetrate using the intracellular route travel around the bricks and through the mortar. Since the lipid matrix is oil soluble, the intracellular route naturally tends to be favorable for the lipophilic molecules. Generally speaking, the intracellular route is the predominant route of penetration through the stratum corneum. Ingredients that penetrate using the transcellular route pass right through the keratinocytes or bricks have a more difficult path. The molecules must completely pass through each dead keratinocyte's outer lipophilic layer, right through the hydrophilic center, and then through the other lipophilic layer as well to then effectively penetrate the stratum corneum. This route is much more favorable for molecules that have both hydrophilic and lipophilic properties. The transappendageal route or the pore pathway involves ingredients passing through follicles and their associated sebaceous glands. The transappendageal route provides an easier path in diffusion in contrast to other routes of penetration. But since hair follicles and sweat glands only cover about approximately 0.1% of the total skin surface, the transappendageal route is less likely to be used for topical delivery. Depending on the physiochemical characteristics of the molecules and the skin, the molecules will take the most optimal route of delivery, whether that is one route, two, or all three at once. There are many factors that play a role in what route of penetration the molecules decide to take. Some involve the properties of the molecules themselves, some as the molecules concentrations, molecules weight, solubility, and the molecules ionic charge. In regard to molecular weight, the molecule can only typically penetrate the stratum corneum if it is smaller than about 500 dolens. For solubility, because the stratum corneum is rich in lipids, oil-soluble ingredients find it way easier to penetrate the skin than water-soluble ingredients. For ionic charges, neutral molecules penetrate the skin better, better than cationic or anionic molecules. 
the partition coefficient describes the solubility ratio between two immiscible media at equilibrium. Try to picture a funnel containing two liquids that will not mix, X and Y, where we have mixed in the solute Z. The level of how much solute Z will dissolve in each unmixed layer is compared in a ratio that is typically partition coefficient. Typically, one solvent will be in water and the other will be hydrophobic. Let's dig a little deeper into the hydration factor. Water has the potential to act as a vehicle and a plasticizer. In vivo, the stratum corneum always partially hydrated, but also has enormous capacity to absorb additional water. Fully hydrated tissue can cause the stratum corneum to increase five to six times its weight, causing the layer to increase in thickness. Thicker skin tissue can act as a non-permeable wrap or the high water content can increase the temperature and result in an accelerated transport rate. Another main factor that affects transdermal support is delipidization, which is the removal of lipids or lipid groups, usually from a protein. The hydrophobic nature of the skin's surface is revealed when exposed to organic solvents. Skin lipogenesis is continuous. The sebaceous secretion forms an irregular film on the surface about 0.4 to 4 microns thick. Variations in the composition of surface lipids have been studied by Wilkinson in 1969 to find components of squalene, free fatty acids, free sterols, and sterile esters. This thin layer of lipids is not only waterproof to the skin, but also prevents water-soluble cosmetic ingredients from penetrating the stratum corneum as effectively. Improving active bioavailability is key to improving the efficacy of skincare formulations. Bioavailability is the penetration rate for an active to reach its site of action. And this idea abides by Fick's law of diffusion, where the extent and the rate of penetration of an active ingredient from a topical formulation depends on its passive diffusion into the skin. This takes into account the concentration of the active ingredient in the vehicle, the diffusion constant of the active ingredient molecule, and the interaction between the active ingredient with the formula and the skin. We'll also discuss the three technologies frequently used by cosmetic formulators. The first would be solid core microvectors. Solid core microvectors are a type of anhydrous delivery system which relies on the adsorption of active ingredients into a silica microsphere. This silica microsphere helps to deliver the loaded active into the skin. Basically, AC microvectors are composed of dehydrated compounds of the extracellular matrix with silica particles in an anhydrous carrier. In the AC plumping microvector system, the silica vectors help to deliver protein components to the extracellular matrix. When the dehydrated microvector makes contact with water on the skin, the microvector is able to come to life. The hydrated microvector penetrates the skin and delivers the active ingredient. Next is liposomes, and liposomes are one of the more common encapsulation technologies used to enhance the topical delivery of cosmetic actives. Liposomes are microscopic spherical vesicles with a structure that closely mimics cell membranes. In a liposomal form, cosmetic ingredients typically have better stability, penetration, and efficacy at lower use levels. Because of this similarity, liposomes can serve as an effective delivery system in both water and oil-soluble cosmetic actives. This encapsulation technology allows hydrophilic actives to be loaded in the aqueous inner core, while lipophilic actives can be separately loaded in the lipid bilayer. Cosmetic liposomes are designed to break on the skin and fuse with the epidermal lipids, which creates pores that allow for delivery of the loaded actives. Greater penetration of the loaded active occurs when it is delivered through the stratum corneum with penetration stopping at the living epidermal cells. Biochelation is another technology used to enhance the bioavailability of cosmetic actives, a vegetal peptide technology focused on sustainability. Biochelates are fully biodegradable chelators used in a wide variety of personal care formulations. The fermentation of yeast with various vitamins and minerals creates yeast, glycopeptides, mineral complexes with better stability. 
the replacement of alcohol with vegetable glycerin more effectively binds plant phytochemicals and because glycerin is natural to the body, it is also more bioavailable. This is a great way to incorporate important elements into cosmetic formulations as they pass more readily through cell membranes. The takeaway message for this masterclass is that there are many factors that go into how easily we can or cannot penetrate cosmetics through the skin or offer their benefits topically. There are a lot of components to consider when it comes to the delivery of active ingredients and with the right technology, there is much more we can do and offer. Thanks again for watching everybody. My name is Morgan Drohan and this was a masterclass on skin penetration with active concepts. Thank you.